Yeah. So I found this rock in uh, Cyprus, and it's so flat and perfect like that. I'm going to just try and see if I can get a little bit of sharpness on it, and then we'll try the landscape quad sharp. And we'll use our, old, our favorite Chinese bushcraft knife with a 440C steel that I've not, I've kind of given it a hard time a lot, but at the moment it's very, very poor um, at that corner there. So I'm just going to try and sharpen it. I think I'm going to start off like this first. Like that. As you can see, it's not perfectly sharpened evenly, but. Um, Better than the average stone. You know what? I just actually feel a little bit sharper. Immediate improvement. Immediate improvement. It's just a little bit longer. Let me try this technique. A bit more dangerous, but actually, I'm using the edge of that. That's maybe not the best way to do it. You can just use any stone for that. It actually feels a bit blunter. Yeah, I think that was a better way. So when you do it like this, the thing that really you're kind of more exposed to the rounding. So let's try this side. You want it sort of as much of an even spread of um, cutting angle as possible, and I'm using a sort of 20 degrees angle like that. I think that's about as good as I'm going to get it, but uh, let's just try it again. I mean that's acceptable. You could, you could survive in the wild with a knife that sharp just by using this stone. Now let's just um, see how much we can get it better by using this. So we'll start off with uh, 20 degrees. In fact, we'll just use 20 degrees because that's a sort of good balance for bushcraft blading. So. With this one, you don't really want to push any pressure on it, otherwise you damage your knife a little bit. So I'm just going to do it a little gentle, but like gentle like this. I'm not actually feeling it that much better, to be honest. Trying to lose a little bit more pressure. Doesn't really feel much sharper. All right, let's just try the final test with this um, ceramic here. Um, let's see what kind of angle we can get out of this. Oh, this but this is about as much as it's going to be. I'm not sure if you use a hand like this or just use a knife all the time, but I think it's more stable if you use a knife. Alright, that to me does feel quite a little bit more sharp than just using the ceramic. Sorry there. So that's obviously better than the stone, but in terms of how much better than the stone it is, maybe only 10% or 20%. So. That really does show you that if you have find a good stone, um, then uh, you can survive with that. Thanks for watching, folks. Cheers, mate. Was that interesting?